of the in complete mainstream. And I think about the conversations that happened on Twitter and I think about the voices in this room and how you did that. And that's exactly what our team focuses on. And we're just entering, as we say, God has helped us enter. And we're going to go from there. I'm Nigerian. We're coming. Don't worry. It's not, it's not a fight. We love our, we love our Ghanaian brothers, but we're, we're, we're going to arrive. It's all love. It's just one. One team is what we say. The CEO of the company to Africa. And I have imposter syndrome and I was fearful because y'all know how it is at the crib. It's incredible, but anything can happen on any given day. Anything. So I'll never forget that first night we had dinner and Jack looked at me and was like, what's that thing you like? The white stuff you dip into the, you dip into the soup? And I'm like, that's fufu. I beg, bring it, bring it, bring it. And I'll never forget, he, 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 I watch this man roll up the ball, dip it into the soup. He's like, dude, this is incredible. This is incredible. And here we are two years later, an office in Ghana, a Twitter Ghana handle, a beautiful event called Africa to the World. Somebody called Antarctica to the World because it's a little cold on the roof. But we are so humbled and thankful and appreciative that y'all are here breaking bread with us. There is Jalop right upstairs, Nigerian Jalop. Um, and we're excited. We're excited to have you. Thank y'all for coming back. Back to my host. You have been living under a rock. Because once December lands like this, nobody has heard in Accra again. And so he's coming to talk to us about more of his work and how he's taking Africa to the world. I think I've been around with a lot of family, so I'm comfortable up here. Usually I'd be a little nervous, but I'm not today. I've seen a lot of y'all faces in December, and I'm so appreciative uh, for all of you. So, you know, when we started Afrochella, we wanted a way to communicate between the diaspora and the African continent. Like, you know, I go to Ghana every December for the past, what, 10, 11, 12 years. And I saw so many amazing talents coming in from Nigeria, all over the world from Europe, and I just wanted an opportunity to harness that, for us to be able to be there for each other, right? for us, or by us. And we decided to create this culture festival that had these little elements of food, music. Hello. Thank you guys very much. I know you guys are here. I hope I can hear you soon, boy. Can I hear from my in the house, guys? Yeah. So I'm representing for all the Jalos in Africa. Exactly. In fact, neither Nigeria nor Ghana owns the Jalof title in Senegal. So why are we fighting? Why are my Senegalese in the house right now? Ain't no Senegalese. East Africa in a place. Thank you so much. Southern Africa in a place. Thank you so much. Uh, give me my and my wishes are representing. It's all been about the culture, the culture, the culture. One thing I want to say is that the culture is broader than black, the culture is broader than Africa, and we must deliberately know that even our brothers in the Caribbean and Ghana, and so on and so forth. She spoke about penetrating. It's going to be full penetration. The culture is going to continue to penetrate.